be showing you how to make an automatic kelp farm so stay tuned so for this you'll need 16 kelp 34 glass two water buckets eight pistons eight redstone dust eight observers two chests a hopper a mine cart with a hopper 22 slabs doesn't have to be cobblestone any of your choice any kind of sign a stack and a half of any kind of placement blocks I choose spruce planks um, and then two rails and that is everything you'll need to make this so for the first thing you want to do you want to place 10 blocks in a row 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay now after you've done that you want to place two solid blocks here and then you want to fill that all in with solid blocks so like this now after you've done that you want to place um, 10 solid blocks along this side should just be the same outline now after you've done that you want to place eight pistons just along right through here should be exactly in the middle okay so make sure all the pistons are facing this way and the pistons will be what are used to harvest all the kelp from the farm as it grows um, it'll chop them down okay so now get your observers and go around to the back okay so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna place a piston on top of each one of these now see I placed it wrong but you're going to want to make sure that um, each of these are facing towards the outside. The arrow on top should be going towards the outside. So just go ahead and fill that in real quick. Okay, after you're doing that, check the front and make sure all of them are facing towards you. All the faces should be facing you. So the observers will detect every time a kelp block gets up here, which will make all of these shoot forwards harvesting the kelp. Okay, so once you've checked for that, you want to go around the back and place a solid block on each one of the pistons. Now, once you've done that, you're going to come over here, hop on up. Now you're going to place your redstone along each one of these blocks back here. Make sure they're all connected to the observers. Okay, so next you're going to place three solid blocks here going up. You're going to come over here and you're going to place four solid blocks going up. You're going to place one right down here, okay? So now you're going to need your chests. Okay, so now you're going to want to make a double chest right along this wall. Okay, next you're going to want to take your hopper. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Now you're going to place your hopper connected to the chest. Make sure it's funneling into the chest. And you can go ahead and break this block. And you're going to extend this out by one right here. Okay, so now you can go ahead and place your um, sign right here. Um, you don't have to write anything on it's up to you now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your um, rails and your minecart with a hopper now you're gonna place your rails up here place your hopper there so now you're gonna want to jump up if you can reach it you might have to place the block like how this jump up and push it onto that right there right there's where you want it so we're back here again for the third attempt yeah, so now you're gonna place a block here. So you gotta make sure it's pushed all the way against and you want it even like this. And you can go ahead and pick your rails and stuff back up. But you need it even against there and then you can fill the wall back up. So this is gonna be one of the main functioning points of the build. Um, the kelp will be collected into this mine cart, which will funnel into the hopper, which will funnel it down into the chest. Which later on you can extend this with more chests and stuff for more storage. Just this is a good example. But you can take more hoppers and extend it down like that. So now, okay, so next we're going to place a little bit more blocks. You're going to go ahead and take and fill in over top of the observers. And then go ahead and bring it down the side. Okay, so now you'll go ahead and bring these two levels up as tall as this one. Okay, to where everything should be filled in like this. Okay, now for our next step, you're going to go ahead and take and place your eight glass blocks here. And once you've got that, you're going to place three up right here so one two three and you should look just like this now you can go ahead and fill all of this in with your glass blocks careful not to misplace them you wouldn't want to have to go get more glass okay so now you should have this whole like wall filled in right here so now for our next step you're going to want to create an infinite water source so you just come out here and place your however you want to do it okay get your two buckets of water and just go ahead and make your infinite water source Go ahead and fill your buckets back up for this next part. Okay, so this next part's important. You'll want to make your little staircase to get up there if you're in survival. 
and you want to go up here and you want to place a water bucket on each one of the observer faces make sure you get it on each one don't miss any this is important and now that you've got that complete um, on to the next part okay so this next part you'll need to go ahead and get your slabs and you'll need one bucket of water so go ahead and fill up a bucket of water before you go up here so now at the very top of each one of these hoppers or not hoppers observers you'll want to place a singular slab which will make a solid stream that runs down here to your hopper okay now you can go over here and you place this and it'll run down and go ahead and mine up your um, slabs go ahead and collect all of them now once you have them you're ready for the next part now that you've done that you're going to have to redo the observer part so get your two buckets back out fill them up with water now you're going to go back and you're going to replace a water bucket at each observer again okay now that you've done that you're ready for the next part all right for our next step you can go ahead and get rid of your infinite water source you shouldn't need any more water for this but i'm going to fill mine up just in case i mess something up and go ahead and fill this in and I'm going to go ahead and pick up these. Now, for your next step, you're going to need your glass. And you're going to go ahead and come back up here. Go ahead and place your glass on the end. And if you can't place the glass, you can push that in a little bit more. Just make sure it's still over top of the, um, like, make sure the minecart with hopper is still over top of the hopper. Okay, so now you'll get your slabs. And you're going to place a slab over all of this just like I am well ran out of slabs might have miscounted make sure you pick up your slabs from down in there um, if you can't get those particular slabs it's okay you just swim down grab them try not to bump that swim back up okay now you should be good on your slabs which I fell down but you know Go ahead and now pick those up and you're going to go ahead and place the rest of these which I uh, lost some to the chest go ahead and make sure you get all your slabs before you come up here it's a lot easier so go ahead and fill the top end like that okay for this next part you're going to want to go ahead and get your kelp and you're going to want to um, place two tall, two tall across all the bottom of this should look like this right here Across the whole bottom go ahead and place it over there now you'll want to go ahead and swim out the top go ahead and get your way back out okay you need that which I kind of fell down right here but you know place your slab back and on to the next part all right for the next step you're gonna want to play break the top kelp in front of each piston just like I am just like that okay now next part okay now that you've done all of that and everything's in place just like I had it you can go ahead and break all these blocks on the outside which I'm about to be attacked by a lot of zombies so go ahead and just clear out all the excess blocks you didn't need so this is the farm complete and um, I'll show you how it works and um, I'll make it look a little bit nicer and show you how I made it nicer in one second. Okay, this is important. Um, so in the new update, there is an issue with the um, water blocks. When the pistons go through them, it cancels it out. So I'm going to show you how to fix that real quick. Um, you go up here and you're going to take and right in front of the piston, so on the second block, second thing of glass you're gonna replace that with a um, stair so you might want to hop down in here you're gonna replace these with stairs let's go ahead and break them all may make a little bit of a mess for a second Tr careful not to drown Go ahead and replace all of these right through here. Now 
Now once you have done that, swim back out. Go ahead and break the slab so you can get out. Which I'm gonna have to build up again because you know. Silly goose. Um place that back. Okay, now you can break your placement blocks. Now what you'll want to do is you'll want to um rebuild your um water source. You'll need this bag. So just go get water again. Now fill your buckets up and you'll want to water log each of these stairs. And this should fix your problem. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's go back. So now once you have all of those water logged, um, you're going to wait and let it grow. Once it grows up here to the observers, the pistons will activate and it'll funnel down here into your chest. So I'll show you that in one second. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you every while that grows, I'm gonna show you everything I've done to improve this. So here's a better storage system. It funnels down right here. Um, just add more storage so you can leave it long, running longer. I sealed up the back so you wouldn't just have random um, redstone look coming out and it looks a little bit more secure. If you want, you can go ahead and redo your slabs around the top to make it look like it goes all the way around. And I'll show you it running um, in two seconds. Okay, so then as it grows, as you see, it breaks the kelp and um, the observer detects it, the pistons go off. The kelp runs down through here, gets collected in the hopper. And right here I've made a better storage system. So it flows down and you can see it collects your kelp here. So this should be a pretty efficient farm while you're off doing stuff. Um, It'll just collect kelp for you. And you can use kelp for many different things, but if you smelt kelp and get dried kelp and turn it into blocks, it's actually one of the best fuel sources in the game. So um, that'll be the end of this video. And if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. And you can catch you in the next one. So peace out.